Okay, bullet time. Nice push from the center. Let's get the knight out. Let's take. Well, this looks like a candidate for turning bullet into blitz. Just bring the bishop out. Small piece, second high piece, can't be wrong. Let's go for the queen. Let's take. Interesting. Hmm. Grabbing pawns. Greedy munching queen. We've got a greedy muncher, people. Oh, we've got like a ultra bullet specialist. This will be interesting. <laughs> nice tactic. Slow down. 
win on time. So, yep, good practice of the answer process again there. Um, it doesn't have to be anything grand, you know. We don't we, we go searching for these fantastical type brilliant chess games. The majority of my games are just normal everyday chess games and nothing grand about them. But that's the that's the whole thing about chess. You know, it's there to be played for the enjoyment and the activity is just the experience. If there's brilliances in there every now and then, then so be it. This is what keeps us enthralled within the chess world. Um, but it's a hobby. It's a it's a puzzle. It's a test of your mind. It's a mind challenge. You know, so it's a constant, ever growing thing all the time. It doesn't have to blow you out of the water with mad, magnificent, fantastical thoughts and processes or physics of chemistry or whatever, anything else. Um, it's a game. It's a psychological game. So it's however you want to pan it out, however you're, you want to experience um, your development. If you want to develop, if you're just enjoying playing the game, then that's your choice, you know, at the end of the day. So playing the art of chess is individual and it's, it's subjective to how you want to feel in within your game of chess. So this game here, we were basing it basically on the answer process, keeping it nice and simple, straightforward, and also understanding the framework that we're in. We're playing bullet, so the opponent's time was running out. It's a key factor as well, is to remember that time is part of chess as well. Unless, of course, you're playing an unlimited, unlimited game where you know you can take as long as you want, which I probably find that they're probably very rare. Because um, even correspondence games have like a cut-off period for you to make your moves. And so within these faster games as well, time management is key. And that is part of the game. If you're not keeping your time up or managing your time, then you are going to lose on time. So the art of knowing how to play against quick, fast players when they're down on time. There's techniques towards using that type of, type of psychology as well. All different types of things. It's not just about the movement of pieces on the board. It's the psychology of the game outside of the board. The answer to chess. <laughs>